Hello, everyone, and welcome to Work Life Partnerships and Student Loan Mini Sessions. This time, we're going to be on our last one talking about private loans. So what are they exactly and the options when running into trouble with repaying them? So uh, the best way really to get your head around a private student loan is know that it isn't a federal student loan. It is not issued or backed by the federal government. Uh, private uh, lenders, and this can be, I mean, banks, some companies specialize just in doing these private student loans. There's a wide range of these lenders, and they are really the ones that are setting a lot of the terms, um, a lot of the conditions. It's all up to them. The interest rate depends quite a bit on your individual credit score. There are some things you can do, like have a co-signer to help lower that interest rate. Just know that the co-signer, especially if you're the one signing up for it, you are responsible in case the, the primary borrower does not repay these things. So you could be on the hook for repaying these. Never sign up to be a co-signer unless you can handle repayment. So options, uh, this is pretty narrow and limited, frankly. Again, since these are with these private uh, companies, they're the ones that are gonna be setting the terms and conditions. It's pretty rare to have forgiveness options, things like the income-based repayment plans, working for a nonprofit, this doesn't apply to private loans. Uh, forbearance can even be tricky to get. Uh, remember that forbearance is when payments pause, but interest still accrues. You have to request this from the private uh, lender to even get on this. And again, know that your balance is usually still ticking up and growing. So forbearance can be dangerous even when you can get on it. It really needs to be a very short-term option for you. Really, the best thing to do when you're running into trouble is to get in contact with the lender and see what options they have available to you. It, again, it's really going to depend on the individual lender to see what they have available to you. The other big thing, the more common way people can kind of help manage this is to look at refinancing. So this is basically just taking out a new loan to replace the old, usually with the hopes of getting a smaller interest rate. Or maybe we have like, you know, six private loans kind of scattered all over the place. We refinance into one just to kind of help making managing it a little bit easier. Some things that you can do when you're looking at refinancing, kind of wondering who you should go with, wow, what things to keep in mind, what interest rates look like right now. Got two good sites for you here, and we'll have the links in the description. So Student Loan Hero. Let's load it up. So this is a good site to come take a look at. You can weigh um, several different types of lenders. So again, there's a whole bunch of different lenders here. Uh, the APR, so the interest rate, your terms. You'll see on here eligible loans that there's federal on here. One thing to keep in mind, you can refinance a federal student loan into a private, but you cannot reverse that. So once a federal loan becomes a private, you can't go back to a federal loan you will lose any of the protections of a federal loan. So like the COVID forbearance where interest rates or interest isn't growing and payments aren't being made, that goes away. Deferment options, those aren't available to private loans. The private or public service loan forgiveness, that's gone if you consolidate a federal loan into a private. So just be very aware of that. That's generally only a good idea if you're not going for forgiveness options and you can get like a very low interest rate compared to your federal. But in general, don't consolidate a federal loan into a private. But back onto this website, this is a good thing to take a look and just kind of weigh the various terms, um, researching your options a little bit, maybe going and visiting the lender. However, always, always take a look at at least two sites when you are weighing these. So another good one, is Nerd Wallet. So they have very good guides up here where you can come in, take a look. They update these pretty frequently. Take a look at student loans. And this is just going to be another way to help weigh what student loans we're taking a look at, maybe considering refinancing as an option. You'll see they'll give you some of the terms, they'll have their own rating. Compare this with another site like Student Loan Hero. Uh, maybe another one, you can visit the individual lenders themselves to take a look. And again, here's your credit score options. But that's really just about it for private loans. They're, they're pretty tough. Um, if you are going to be going into school, 
try to maximize your federal student loans first before going to private loans. Try to use these as little as possible because you don't have as many options. Otherwise, though, if you have any questions that you would like help with, as always, please feel free to email me down here with your questions. And I'd be happy to help out. Thanks.